What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie, and today we are continuing on with our series of, you know, years later opinions. Uh, and right now we are talking about the Pelican Suvron uh, M805 uh, Streisman. I cannot pronounce any of that correctly, so take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> Um, I purchased this pen from my first ever pen show, which is the Toronto Scriptus Pen Show uh, in Toronto, uh, Ontario, Canada. Uh, and I believe it was 2017, I think. I'm pretty sure if it wasn't 2017 and it was 2018, um, but certainly it was one of those. I just cannot for the life of me remember which year uh, because, you know, it's basically life before or after COVID, <laughs> and it was certainly before. Uh, so I've had this pen for quite some time now, uh, and it is still in my collection. I always wanted to get a Pelican in my collection, and I've used many. I've used the 200 series, 400 series, 600 series. This is the 800 series. I've yet to have a foray into the 1000. Um, I had a couple opportunities to get one and review, but they've always fallen apart uh, somehow. Um, so I haven't been able to get my hands on one. I did have one for a split second uh, at a pen show once uh, where I got to hold it for just, just a millisecond uh, and it was fantabulous. Uh, it was the, the green striped body, but I've never really had uh, any actual and practical experience with it. So the M805 is definitely the one I'm most familiar with, um, but I, like I said, I've used all of them up until the uh, 800 series. Um, it definitely follows all the typical Pelican formats. You know, you got the mama and the baby bird on the finial. You got the pelican beak. I do have a formal um, review of this and all the other pelicans that I've used uh, in my channel. The M600 with the, like, the red stripe, um, I think is actually one of the very first videos, if not the second video I've ever posted on this channel. Uh, so if you want to see my really old video, definitely go check that out. Um, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's different. That's for sure. Um, so there, there is that, this is the, definitely heavier than the 400, uh, 600, 200, all of them, uh, because it does have metal internal components for this piston, uh, which I gotta put the cap down. It's a little stiff to get it started, but once it goes, it's perfect. Um, you you can grease it yourself though. The nib and feed just screw out, uh, and you can put a little bit of silicone grease on the inside, uh, which I have done and might need to do again in the future. This is the older style where you can see through the stripes. Uh, they changed it in 2022 so that you can no longer see through the stripes, which I think personally is a gigantic mistake, uh, but it probably makes it easier for them to produce them. Uh, and that's likely why they're doing it because Pelican is a very expensive pen brand. Um, the 18 karat fine nib is what I have, although it writes like a medium to broad. <laughs> so take fine with a grain of salt. It is a broad bad boy. Uh, <laughs> fits really nicely in the hand. Definitely does have a little bit more weight to it. Um, the grip section is, I would say, appropriately beefy, if that makes sense. Like it fits the style of the pen. I would like it to be a little bit longer. Uh, my thumb definitely stays on the threads the entire time but I don't necessarily have a problem with it because it is very, very smooth uh, and it does have a flare out at the end of the grip section. So it does stop my fingers from going forward. Um, you can post the pen quite securely. I don't because it's heavy enough for me. Plus I don't really post any of my pens uh, if I'm being fair and honest on that one. So, <laughs> um, so I don't either, but I just, I don't know. I like the Suvron series. Um, well, they're all Suvron series, but I like the M805 series because it's a perfect balance between size and weight. Uh, it's heavier than most of the pens that I have in my collection, but sometimes you just want that. You just want the beef, you know? Uh, and I really like the gray stripes uh, over the blue, green, 
or even red that they have. Red is my next favorite. Um, if they ever make a red 1000, I, I might have to pull the trigger. They do have the 1000 now in this. Uh, they also have the 400, I believe now. And um, I'm pretty sure they came out with a 1000 that has gray stripes, but it, it's different. It's not quite the same. Um, but since I already had this, there was just no point in getting the other one. Um, so currently this pen is not inked up, but we're going to do that together with this ink. It is Caveco Sunrise Orange. Um, this pen, like I said, I purchased with my own money. This ink was sent to me um, from penhaven.com. So do check them out if you would like to. But let's open this bad boy up. Quebeco recently changed their bottles uh, and I quite appreciate it a lot. So I'm just gonna move that to the side and let's quickly put a bit of ink in this. And today we are going to use Galen Leather Tomoe River 52 GSM. All right, so I've just put a bit of ink in here for you. And let's do some writing. Come on, camera, you can do it. There she goes. I love this ink. I really do. It is one of my favorite oranges. And this pen is certainly very wet. Now granted, I did just ink this up. So it is ever so slightly more wet than like, I guess normal, but it, it always is, is definitely wet. Um, reverse writing. Reverse writing, you can definitely get to an extra fine. This is, I will say fine, but put an asterisk around that. It, it writes more like, what the heck was that? <laughs> like a European medium rather than a European fine. Uh, for my opinion anyways. So, well, everything is really my opinion. <laughs> uh, it's a very stiff nib. You're not going to get any... Uh, flexibility really out of this nib but it just performs beautifully it's very smooth a little bit of feedback like a little bit but it's very very smooth uh, it's very wet it has been a solid performer since day one and many 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 years later it is still absolutely reliable. It is one of the pens that I don't have inked up very often. I really don't. Uh, one, because I get the chance with what I do to try out a lot of different pens, which is amazing. Um, but oftentimes it means that I have pens, uh, personal pens that kind of sit just waiting to be used a little more often than they probably would be if I didn't have the opportunities that I have. Um, and, and this is one of those pens that tends to sit and, and wait a little bit longer than others. But man, oh man, <laughs> when I do ink it up and I decide to use it, I'm always thinking, why don't I use this more? <laughs> And when the beauty of this material is it lends itself to really any ink. You don't have the pressure of having to match it. I mean, if you want to put a gray ink in it, you can. And I have many times. But you can really spice it up with clearly a bright orange pen. Or sorry, ink. <laughs> um, so do I recommend this pen? Yeah, I absolutely do. I like it quite a bit. Uh, clearly, because I still have it in my collection after all these years. I think it is a pen that will always be in my collection. I can't see myself ever letting it go. Never say never, but I mean, it's it's been five plus years and it's still here. And it will probably be here for a long time to come. It is expensive. 
Um, and I won't even put the price in here because the price changes pretty much yearly, but it is very expensive. So don't feel pressure to get it, but if you do have the opportunity to try it or you do have the funds, then absolutely pick one up. Um, I think it is worth it. Um, and I just, yeah, it's this, this pen is so special and it does represent that first pen show that I went to. And I will always remember it very fondly. And I can just color with this forever. So I, this video could be very, very long. Uh, like I said, it's a little bit sentimental for me for that very first pen show I ever went to. Um, but the fact that it just writes perfectly so well is really the main reason why I have kept it all these years. So guys, if you like this video, let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to see more, do hit subscribe. Videos come out every Monday and Friday and the occasional Tuesday. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have used any of the Pelican Suveron pens uh, and your thoughts around them. Um, check out the description below for my Patreon account if you want to help support me and what I do here. And as always, if you're still watching this far in, you are the reason I make these videos. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye. Well, all right, all right, all right. Today it is time to say thank you to all of my Patreons. I am so grateful for you. Today is, is July 3rd, so if you do not see or hear your name, uh, just be patient. I update it as soon as I can. So for our ultimate human, we've got Daniel Roddy. And then for my VIPs, we have Glenn Kelly, Joan Worthman, Brian Hunter, Aaron C., Luna Wolf Games, Bobby A. Bailey, Bass, Weile Chang, Brian La, Lucas Bell, Aubrey Madcourt, Marissa Calvo, Eric Lineman, Jessica Chow, Stephen Baldwin, Carol Lowry, Michael Simon, Sean Sturdy, Catherine Molina, Robert Myers, Bill Pemberton, Karen Epstein, Gretchen Peters, Subi1 Kenobi, Bianca Andrews, and DigitalTent.Tech. And lastly, but not least, McCall Bennett Lawrence. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone, no matter the tier you're in, uh, whether it's bottom or top, does not matter. You all make what I do here possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you.